Hey, yeah, welcome to a new episode of the Advanced Java Tutorial Series. Today I show you how to convert text to speech in Java uh, with a bit help of the Google Translator. I choose the Google Translator because yeah, it's free to use, so uh, it has nearly all languages included and is really easy to use. This is uh, yeah, all we need for this. So first we need to download two libraries. The first library is the RESTI library, you find it under uh, Bender's GitHub IO RESTI slash RESTI slash downloads and yeah, simply download this jar file here. Um, the second library is the Java layer from JavaZoom, so to find it under sourceforge.net projects J layer, uh, Java layer and yeah, simply download this zip file. In the zip file you find a uh, library called jl1.0.1.jar and you import both of them into your project. So you got them here and add them to the build path. Yeah, then we create our class. Mm, call it text to speech. So we first need the base URL from uh, from Google's uh, translator toolkit, so from where we can get our uh, sound back. So we create a static final string variable and our base URL will look like this. So basically it's to translate google.com translate text to speech we say it's coded to UTF-8 uh, this is what should be said, said we will fill this argument later and TL is the translation language so which language we want this to so we will fill this later so if it should be English or German or whatever and yeah, this is the input so we create a main method and we will create a method called say with an argument text what should be said and hello world so this will be our start and now we will here create the uh, text to speech so first we need a file Sorry. So trans late.mp3. So this is our temporary file where we will uh, save. Oh, there's an error. Ah, I forgot the new. Where we will uh, temporarily save our yeah our speech, our sound we get back from Google. So string sentence. encode and encode me uh, basically means we uh, say that the text was UTF-8 so this was what we want to say is UTF-8 because we say here it will be sent as UTF-8 so this uh, forces us to use a try catch uh, we put everything in it here so string URL string message format so now we will fill our base URL doing this by base URL uh, oops. and the first argument will be uh, the sentence and the second one is our language so I will put here a uh, en for English and we will change this later on so you that you can see just changing this well you can put an output in German or in whatever language you want so binary resources so this is our binary resource we need to download for this we create a new resty object oops, no, so oops, bytes new query well string 
So this basically oh, uh, right. We need to uh, create some more track catches. Um, this basically gives us a um, binary resource back from the uh, MP3 file which of is offered to us by Google. So we can say save this to our file. Now we actually have our file and we need to play it so we can hear what was said. And that's is done. This is done by the file input stream. We initialize, and this file input stream will be given to the player from Java layer. Player in and p play. So now we have to close it, and we will delete the file after that. So. Uh, we need to add some more try catch. So, yeah, this is basically how the player from JLayer works. You create a new player object, say which file input stream should be taken, play this. This will wait until the uh, yeah until the file is played and ended, and then you close it again. And yeah, I would just now start it. So listen to it. Hello world. Yeah, this is how this works. Now I will change this to. DE for all uh, our German spectators and as you can see simply change this variable it will now call it in German Hallo Welt so now it's um, another uh, voice but yeah it was German for all those who don't know German it was right and we can say uh, my name is there are some more complex sentences here and hello my name is Dennis so you hear it's working perfectly well so this is basically how you can use Google text-to-speech in a Java program and yeah if you have any questions write a comment I hope you enjoyed and I hope I see you soon